readers. Today we're going to read a book called The Perfect Present, and this is by Fiona Robertson. Henry was too excited to sleep. He was thinking about the enormous pile of birthday presents waiting for him downstairs and trying to guess what Spot was going to give him. He was guessing in alphabetical order and was currently at the letter T. Is it a trip for two to Timbuktu? No. A totem pole? No. A trampoline? No. Spot had actually bought Henry a fishing rod. Whenever they passed the window of, Miss, of Mr. Angling's shop for anglers, Henry would push his nose up against the window and gaze longingly at it. If only it was mine, he would sigh. Spot couldn't wait to see Henry's face when he opened it. It was going to be the perfect present. Morning came and Spot and Henry raced downstairs. Henry ripped open all of his presents from his mom and dad, his sister Olivia, and his uncles, aunts, and cousins. He was just about to open Spot's present when the doorbell rang. Ding dong! Henry's grandparents had arrived and they had brought a strange and wobbling box with them. They carefully placed it on the floor in front of Henry. There was a loud and sudden woof, an outburst, a dog, yelled Henry, with a waggy tail, a soft wet nose, and a warm furry tongue. He's perfect. He ran straight to the garden to teach the dog some fantastic new tricks. Spot followed them out into the garden. But you haven't opened my present yet, he said. But Henry wasn't listening. Spot was miserable. Henry's always wanted a dog and now he has one, he thought. I might as well not be here. So he left him a note to say goodbye and quietly packed his things. It was dark outside and it started to rain. He shut the door softly behind him and set off on the long journey back to his old house. It was still raining when Spot came to a river. His suitcase was too heavy to fly with, so he jumped in to swim across instead. But the rain had made the river too fast and too strong, and Spot was tumbled away downstream. He desperately grabbed at the branches of a tree as the river swept him past, then clambered unsteadily to the top. The rain carried on, raining and the river rose up to meet him. Spot was stuck and didn't know what to do. Spot had almost given up hope when he suddenly heard shouting in the distance and his heart jumped. Henry had come to find him. But then he heard barking too and his heart sank. The dog was with him. There was a flash of light and the dog came slowly sniffing over the hill. You can see on this page where it says, meanwhile, huh? Oh, Spot? Oh no, when he discovers that Spot left. Poor Spot. Then, barking noisily, he rushed headlong towards Spot. Wait, shouted Henry, but it was too late. With a single bound, the dog jumped into the river and immediately sank like a stone. Spot knew he had to do something. He dove straight in after the dog and caught him by the collar just in time. 
but now they were both in trouble. Spot was too tired and the dog was too heavy and they both began to sink. Then from somewhere up above, there came a strange whizz, whoop, and Spot felt a sharp tug at his neck. He looked up and there was Henry, holding his brand new fishing rod and smiling. Oh, Spot, said Henry, I was so worried about you. Why did you leave? Because I didn't think you needed me anymore, said Spot. I thought the dog was your perfect pet now. Spot, said Henry, I will always need you and you will always be my perfect pet, no matter what. But perhaps, he said, the dog can be our perfect pet. I would never have found you without him. Spot looked curiously at the dog. I've never had a pet before, he said. You'll love it, Henry told him. Pets are excellent. So, asked Spot hopefully, do you like your birthday present? Spot, replied Henry, it's absolutely perfect. And again, that is called The Perfect Present, and it's by Fiona Robertson. Hope you enjoy, and have a great night.